So I found 11 jobs that don't require a college degree, but still pay really well. And some of them you can actually make over $120,000 a year with. And the first one on the list is going to be an online personal trainer. Have you ever tried to high five your computer screen after an intense workout? Are you tired of breaking a sweat in crowded gyms that have questionable hygiene practices? Well, online fitness training might be right for you then. And in this career, you're going to be providing fitness guidance, instruction, and coaching remotely. And an online fitness trainer is kind of like a pocket-sized coach, guiding you through workouts and keeping you motivated all from the comfort of your home. And this is a career that absolutely blew up during the pandemic. People couldn't go to the gym, but they still wanted to keep fit. And so they started hiring online personal trainers. Now, according to Glassdoor, online fitness trainers make about $61,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are you do have an expanded reach because you're online, so it's much more scalable. It's also extremely flexible. You can work when you want, and it allows you to give increased personalization. Some of the cons of this one are there is limited physical interaction. There can be a lot of technical challenges, and you do have to have a lot of self-motivation and accountability, and when you first start, it can be somewhat difficult to get your first clients. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list I found, I thought it was kind of funny because it's basically a relatively common career, but it has a funny name, and that is a chat assassin. And this is gonna be for the organization omnitalent.org. And this is a position where you answer questions on big brands' social media accounts. And a lot of the time, you'll be talking with people in direct message. And your main job, aside from making sure that you answer the questions correctly, is to point them towards the correct products. So a lot of the time, you'll be setting up meetings with the sales team, for instance. So yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one because I've talked about it before on the channel, but you can make really good money doing this over $50,000 a year. So I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list might be great for you if you're somebody who's particularly good at a type of art, and that's going to be an online art teacher. And this is where you work with students either one-on-one -on -one or in a small group setting online, and you give them feedback on their art. So you could do this with any number of different types of art, anything from like music to painting to graphic design or video editing. And this is something that I personally love because I want education to be more and more decentralized. I don't think you need to go to college and pay a hundred thousand dollars to get a really good art related education, especially when you can pay far less than that and work one on one with somebody who's just as good as a professor. Now, art teachers make about forty nine thousand dollars a year. And some of the pros of this one are flexibility, global outreach and the ability to give one on one instruction. Some of the cons of this one are it can be somewhat difficult to get your first clients. Preply and many other websites out there are pretty good places to start, and it can be less engaging than in person teaching. But overall, I love the decentralization of education. I think it's much more efficient. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be close to my heart because it's incredibly difficult to hire for this position, and that's going to be a YouTube script writer. So when it comes to big channels, behind every hey guys, welcome back to my channel, there's probably a team of highly caffeinated script writers. And a YouTube script writer is a profession that specializes in creating written content for videos that will go on YouTube. And this is a profession where you get to combine the joy of writing with the power to entertain, educate, and connect with a global audience. And Glassdoor actually has YouTube script writers making $125,000 to $226,000 a year. Now, chances are you're not going to make that much, but this is a super new and super valuable career. And the truth is, just about nobody can do it. And that's why it's so valuable. Now, a few places you can get started with this is ytjobs.co. And another way you can get started is if you're really familiar with a content creator, a lot of the time content creators will hire script writers from their audience. And the reason for that is because people in their audience that are very familiar with their content tend to know the types of content they make and they tend to be much easier to train. So the pros of this one are creative expression, impact and reach, and you get to collaborate with a bunch of other really talented artists. Some of the cons of this one are it can be very competitive, you're constantly going to need to adapt, and you have limited control. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're a writer and you're also interested in finance. And that would be a freelance finance writer. And this is exactly what it sounds like. So I always give the advice to people, especially with these modern careers that you need to specialize. And it's best to specialize in something that you're either very good at or you really love and preferably both. Now, full-time finance writers at a really big finance blog like The Motley Fool, for instance, make about $83,000 a year. And freelance writers writers in general make about $50,000 a year. And so that just shows you the power of specialization. And the creator economy is getting bigger and bigger and they're needing more talented writers. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is another
another creator economy career, and that's going to be a voice actor. And this is where you get paid to talk to yourself in a soundproof booth. Now, you might be thinking you need a lot of expensive equipment to do this, and you need to have a really attractive voice. And don't get me wrong, that does help. But actually, they're hiring a lot of voice actors that have normal voices and don't have expensive equipment. And this is especially true for YouTube channels. If you think of your favorite YouTube channel that doesn't show the person's face, a lot of the time they don't have the best audio. And that's actually much more relatable. And voiceover artists make about $62,000 a year. So I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is going to be great for you if you like spending a lot of time on Reddit or Discord. And that's going to be a community support agent. And this is similar to customer service, except you're going to be providing support for a community. So there might be a paid community online, for instance, and you'll be answering questions within a forum, or in some cases, even providing technical support. And of course, it helps if you're very knowledgeable in whatever the subject of that community is. Now, community support specialists at a company like Peak Support make about $43,000 a year. And communities are getting more and more common on the internet. So as you probably notice, a lot of these are related to the creator economy, and community support specialists is kind of related as well. So I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. All right, so getting away from the creator economy stuff really quickly. The next one on the list, I do have mixed feelings about, but with that being said, it can be a good opportunity for the right type of person. And that's going to be an admissions advisor. Now, a lot of the content that I've made on this channel has been talking about college degrees and which ones are worth it and which ones aren't, and also which universities are worth it as well. And as an admissions advisor, you're going to be helping prospective students in the college application process and also providing guidance and support during and after that process as well. So for instance, you might help college students choose which degree they go for. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think a lot of admissions advisors unfortunately give very, very bad advice, which is one of the main reasons why I've talked about it so much on this channel. But with that being said, admissions advisors do make pretty good money, about $55,000 a year. And it is a remote job and it is relatively easy to get as well. So I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be great for you if you're someone who's very analytical and you like to figure out how to reverse engineer the Google algorithm. And that's going to be an SEO specialist. And SEO stands for search engine optimization. And basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be writing content that's designed to rank on the Google search engine. And preferably you want to rank on the first page. And search engine optimization specialists make about $57,000 a year. And there's actually a bunch of different jobs within SEO as well. And by the way, SEO is a type of digital marketing. And my friend Seth has helped thousands of people become digital marketers. I've interviewed a bunch of them on this channel, including James, who is a 16 year old who was able to get a job. And Seth does have a free masterclass where he goes over the different types of digital marketing and what you can expect going into the different subspecialties such as SEO or content marketing or paid ads, etc. And I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So overall, SEO specialist is going to get a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a specific type of video editor, and that's going to be an Instagram video editor. Now, you might have noticed there's certain styles of Instagram videos that do very well. So for instance, Behavior Hack and Dan Co have this specific type of animated videos that have been going viral like crazy lately. And Behavior Hack actually charges $15,000 a month to edit other people's videos like this. And so if you can make Instagram videos that go viral, there is a ton of opportunity there. Now, this is best for people who specialize in a particular platform. And it's also best for people who go a step further and specialize in a particular type of content. So usually it's good to specialize in something that you're either very good at or passionate about. And video editors in general make about $58,000 a year. So yeah, this is one where you have to specialize. It can take some time in order to get your first clientele and build a portfolio, but it can be a really good skill for you to learn. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, if you want to know the 21 highest paying work from home jobs, I actually made an entire video about that. And you can check that out by clicking right here.